Android Pie was out yesterday for the new Pixel phones. After a while in beta, we finally know the name and I have a final build on my Pixel 2 XL. I've been playing around with it for a while and here are some major interesting developments. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. As always, card to our monthly giveaway link in the description below. And while you're down there, click that bell icon to become part of our notification squad. Let's now get to Android Pie. Now visually, we see quite a few changes. They are small ones, yes, but Android looks a little refreshing now. One of the biggest changes that the smartphone industry has gone through in the last year or so is notches and Google's embracing them. There's official support with Android P, so we'll be seeing fewer issues with notches and more apps wrapping around them and so on. Now, coming back to visuals, minor changes include the clock being moved to the top left, the volume slider popping up this way, so easy to access single-handed, and it controls the media volume by default. Think about it. Most of the times when we are adjusting the ringtone volumes, aren't we just going from 0 to 100 and back? Now, that can be done by tapping this. Now, if you still want to delve deeper into volume, tap the cog to the bottom. That gets you to jump right into detailed settings. The change is so simple that you wonder why has it taken so long for it to be implemented. The best changes are that way, so hats off Google. Talking about volume, given all the headphone jacks being killed off, one of my major annoyances usually is having my Bluetooth earphones volume change when they are reconnected. Now with Android Pie, your phone can remember the last volume set for each Bluetooth device. Another such intuitive change is the orientation. Now with Android Pie, I don't think I'm ever going to be using auto rotate again. When the phone detects a change in orientation and you don't have auto, auto rotate enabled, it gives you this option on the navigation bar, tap it and boom. So no more having to turn auto rotate on or off while in bed uh, or holding the phone at an awkward angle hoping the screen doesn't rotate. So good stuff. Continuing with more intuitive changes is the revamp notifications. Now apps can suggest smart replies right from the notification bar. You can even see images sent to you right there. Talking about images, screenshots. No more having to fiddle with multiple buttons to get the screenshot. Press and hold power, select screenshot and done. It's as simple as that. The editing's been improved too. Now while these are nifty little changes, they are little changes, right? The big one, the major one, uh, the one that we are gonna have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is with navigation. Now we don't have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis right to begin with, because by default it's turned off. You need to go into settings, system, and then gestures, enable, swipe up on home button. And now you can navigate using a single button, tap for home, back does pop up from time to time as needed, swipe once for recents, swipe again for the app draw. If you notice, the Google search bar is now at the bottom. It's easier to access and why is that important? Let's talk about that in a minute. Now, this top line of apps that you see in the app draw that's also under recents, that's what Google's suggesting by learning your habits. And below that, it will also start suggesting actions like play a certain playlist and so on. Again, this is based on machine learning. So these kind of AI functions are at the core of Android Pie. It's about Android doing more and us the users doing less. Now with the search bar, for example, when you search for stuff, it would give you more contextual answers based on what's installed on your phone. Of course, the app support needs to be added, but this feature called slices should get more and more useful over time. Now, pie slices, yeah, that's what Google's going for. Now back to gestures, quick switch returns, and it's now a swipe to the side. But here's the twist, keep holding it and you keep moving back apps. And if you overshoot, swipe on over to the other side and you can move right back. Very intuitive, I like it. Contextual text selection has also been improved. Select text and you can see the suggested apps. Now tap that handle and a magnifier pops up. Apple's had this one for so long. I'm so happy to see this on the Android side of things. And then there's more AI, adaptive battery. This again learns your habits and makes sure battery resources are allocated based on your kind of usage. Overall, a lot of technical mumbo jumbo that in a nutshell means better battery life. 
Uh, again, initial reports are saying up to 20% better battery life on the Pixel devices. Uh, these are unconfirmed reports, but just so take them with a pinch of salt. Uh, adaptive brightness is present too. Now this takes the auto brightness settings and also takes into account any manual adjustments you do make to make sure that you have the proper brightness settings as per your preferences on your phone. I mean, as long as it's not a Samsung mid-ranger without an auto brightness sensor, in which case it's pretty much useless. Hey Samsung. Now barring these, there's yet another feature called Digital Wellbeing, which is currently in beta and should be rolling out by the time the new pixels are around. Uh, we have dashboard that lets you see how long you spend on each app and also lets us kind of set limits on the time you, I mean, we spend on an app. So once our time limits are done, the app icons turn gray to remind us that we've been spending way too much time on that app. Then there's wind down, which basically uh, is based on based on your preset timing it turns your screen black and white monochrome and also turns do not disturb on talking about do not disturb it disables any visual interruptions too now so these are the major changes that android pie has brought with it i for one am really excited to get my hands on android pie uh, yeah yes i do have a phone with android pie on it but you know I'm testing phones back to back. I don't have time to pop my SIM into the Pixel 2 XL as much as I want to. So I can't wait to get my hands on the Pixel 3. The time I spend testing it, that's when I'm gonna get to experience Android Pie uh, in, de in depth uh, at that point. So uh, I just can't wait to get my hands on it. What, what about you? Which of these features were your favorite? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and are you excited for the Pixel 3? Just just a random question, putting it out there. So let us know all about that in the comments below. And with that, we get to the end of this video. It's time I bid you adieu. If you hated the video, you know what to do. But if you did like it, go ahead, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe, click that bell icon to get notified every time a new video goes live on C4 Retech. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.